With Just in Mind, you can create data driven prototypes with your own real data and functional data tables. In this example, we create a shopping cart with a data master. To reproduce the example, create a web prototype. In the Data Masters tab, create a new data master. In the dialog that appears, give your data master a name. Fill in the names of the fields. Click OK. Double click on the data master, go to the View and Edit Records tab, and fill in the records as desired. Click OK. In the Dynamic Content Widget Library, click on the Data List widget, write the name of the data list, select your data master. Move the fields that you want to the right. Click OK. Position the data list on the canvas and resize it as desired. Move all text boxes in the data list to the second cell of the first column. Add additional text boxes and a button to the cell. Create another data master and fill in the details to match our example. Click OK. Double click on the data master to edit it again. Go to the View and Edit Records tab and delete all records. Click OK. Click on the Data List widget, write the name of the data list, select your data master, move the fields that you want to display, click OK. Position the data list on the canvas. Resize the data list and position it on the canvas to match our example. Drag a dynamic panel to the canvas and resize and position it on the canvas to match our example. Drag the first data list into the dynamic panel and place it on the left of the canvas. Add a second panel and drag the second data list to this panel. Go back to panel 1, click on the button, and go to the Events tab. Add an on click and data master action event. Select New from the options below. In the Expression Builder that appears, drag the Items ID text box to the second position of the Expression Builder. Drag the Items Price text box to the third position. Drag the input text field that corresponds to the quantity text box to the fourth position. Click OK twice. Click on the gear icon above this event. Add an on click and set value action. Select the data list from panel 2. In the Expression Builder, drag the second data master to the first position. Click OK. Add another action. This will be an on click and set active panel event. From the Outline tab, select Panel 2 as the active panel. Click OK. Back in the canvas, go to Panel 2 of the Dynamic Panel. Drag a text box to Panel 2, position it to match our example, and rename it. Drag another text box to the right of this and type the number 0 into it. Go back to Panel 1, select the button again, and go to the Events tab. Add another action. This will be an on click and set value event. Select the text box from panel 2 in which you wrote the number 0. In the Expression Builder, drag the sum function to the first position. Drag the second data master to the second position. 
From within this data master, drag the quantity node to the third position. Drag the multiply function to the fourth position. From within the data master, drag the price mode to the fifth. Click OK twice. Drag another dynamic panel to the left of the first dynamic panel. Drag a button widget within this dynamic panel and resize it to match our example. Rename the button and copy it. Add another panel. Paste the button into this panel and rename it. Go back to panel 3, select the button, and go to the Events tab. Add an on-click and set active panel. Select panel 2 from the first dynamic panel as the active panel. Click OK. Go to panel 4, select the button, and go to the Events tab. Add an on-click and set active panel. Select panel 1 from the first dynamic panel as the active panel. Click OK. Back in the canvas, select panel 1 from the first dynamic panel and go to the Events tab. Add an on-panel active and set active panel event. Select panel 3 from the second dynamic panel as the active panel. Click OK. Back in the canvas, select panel 2 from the first dynamic panel and go to the Events tab. Add an on panel active and set active panel event. Select panel 4 from the second dynamic panel as the active panel. Click OK. And that's it! Click Simulate to see and interact with the example. You will be able to simulate a shopping cart in your prototype.